What are debt funds? You've probably heard of a mutual fund scheme called debt schemes. Hmm, or popularly known as fixed income funds. Ever wondered what those are? Well, here's an easy example. Say you need to get from point A to point B and have two choices. You can either wear your regular shoes and walk the distance or put on a pair of roller skates and literally glide there. The roller skates are definitely more exciting but may also be accompanied by a few bumps and falls on the way. On the other hand, the walking shoes are far less exciting but much more stable. The choice is yours, excitement or stability. And when you talk about debt funds, you're talking about stability. Debt funds are less volatile and thus more stable because they limit the risk you take on your investment. There's different kinds of debt funds to choose from and to evaluate which kind is best suited for you, consider a few parameters. Just like the choice of walking shoes or roller skates would depend on how fast you need to get there. There are different kinds of debt schemes depending upon the period of investment or the time horizon. There's liquid and money market funds, suitable for investors who have surplus or idle money. But for very short investment horizons, ranging from a few days to a few months. Then there's short-term debt funds, which invest in debt securities and are suited for investors with a short-term investment horizon of six months to a year. Finally, long-term debt funds invest in government bonds and corporate bonds. These funds invest in a portfolio of predominantly debt securities across different categories and sectors and are suitable for investors with a horizon of at least a year. Another important way to classify debt funds is based on the kind of debt securities they invest in. Here's a few for you to consider. Floating rate funds that regularly adjust the interest rate they pay to reflect the market rate. These funds invest mostly in floating rate debt instruments and are best for investing during rising interest rate regime. Government security funds, on the other hand, invest only in short-term or long-term government securities issued by either the central or state government. These funds give retail investors access to government securities which are otherwise available as investment option only to high-value investors. Corporate bond funds invest across a variety of debt instruments typically issued by private sector, public sector or semi-government entities. That's quite a few to choose from already isn't it? And that's only based on two classifications. The good thing about debt funds is that there are numerous kinds, so you'll always find something to suit your needs. Here are some more. Dynamic bond funds are another option, investing in debt and money market instruments. These funds identify opportunities arising from inefficiency and volatility in the debt market. Depending upon the market environment, they have the flexibility to invest in long-term or short-term debt securities. Then there are fixed maturity plans, which are funds with a fixed maturity period. These are close-ended schemes and an investor should know the tenure or period of the FMP and its asset class composition before investing. At the end of the period, the units of the scheme are redeemed and the maturity proceeds given to the investor. High yield or credit opportunities are funds that are focused at identifying opportunities and securities with a lower credit rating but which offer the potential for higher returns, making the fund manager's role crucial as the risk is taken with an eye on returns. There are also certain fixed income funds that invest in fixed income securities issued by companies from certain sectors like those that invest only in bonds issued by public sector companies or by banks. Other than pure fixed income funds, there are also fixed income oriented funds that predominantly invest in debt yet have a small portion invested in equities. These are popularly called MIPs or monthly income plans and would invest anywhere ranging between 5 to 30% in equities based on the level of equity risk the fund endeavors to take. There you go! a range of options to choose from. Remember to take stock of the various choices you have when investing in fixed income funds and carefully consider your options before investing.
because unlike choosing between regular shoes or roller skates, there's other details you have to decide for debt funds. But if you do your research and make a good decision, you'll definitely end up with a fund that's right for all your goals. We hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Watch more and we'll help you learn about different investing concepts. You can also write to us with your feedback at editor@templeton.com. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.